Tiny Frontiers, today we're going after the brakes on this 2011 Toyota Prius, and I'm taking off the wheels right now. Once you get the wheels off, then you got these 14s here that hold the sliding pin for the calipers. I'm just doing um, a pad change today. I'm not changing out the rotors because the rotors still have plenty of room on them, um, and they're not warped or they don't have any glazed or dishing or anything like that. So here I'm pushing back the piston a little bit so that I can get it off. Let me get my other bolt down here. Once I get this other bolt down here and the one at the top, this should slide off, being that the piston has been pushed back and released some of the pressure. Um, you always want to make sure that you check your guide pins, make sure they move freely back and forth, because if you don't, there's a possibility they cause your pads to wear prematurely and be bad sooner than they should be. When you're doing this, you want to make sure you take note of where these little tension springs go, like right here. This helps keep tension on the pad. Um, so you want to make sure those are going into the right place. And also we are going to replace the springs that go into the slides for the pads. You can also tell this pad is for the rear because it has a caliper hole on it. So you just want to make sure you put the right pads where they should belong when you get new ones. So here I'm pushing the piston back with a piston caliper tool. Pushing that back here. Um, not all make models you can do this, you just have to be careful. Uh, sometimes if you push the fluid back into the ABS module, you can push the ABS module, but I have a tool up there that stops that up here on the line somewhere. And here I'm pulling the little clips out. And when you get your new ones, you want to make sure they look exactly like what you pulled off. So you're going to kind of compare them. But you can see here they look the same, so I'm pretty sure that's right. So I'm going to pull this one off. And when you place them back into place, you want to make sure they're not touching the rotor because multiple times I've I put these on only to take them back apart 20 minutes later after I put the tires back on and all that stuff because they like touching the inside or the outside of the rotor and it gets this little faint squeak sound or there's a constant squeak sound. So we're going to make sure that you're really positive that nothing's touching. So when you're getting to putting the pads back in, it's... There's a certain way you kind of have to like go in the bottom wedge it, but I did with the tension spring up first, so you get the tension off, and then you slide in the bottom that doesn't have anything on it. Makes it a little bit easier. Um, you just gotta find the right way that works because there's only one way it'll go in, and you gotta figure it out. So that's what I figured was the, the tension. You got all the pressure on the tension spring first, and each job is different. So. So you want to make sure that the pads look great, they're flush, they're not hanging, there's nothing's touching the rotor. So now I feel confident putting my caliper back on and the, put my bolts back on, torque them to spec. And then I'm going to move on to the other side. The other side is basically the same process. We're, see, we're pulling the bolts back off and on the other side and we're doing the same process. Um, you're going to have to take um, the pressure, the tension springs on the pads might be in a little bit different spot because it's opposite of each other. It's the opposite side. But just take note of how they look. But let's see if they look the same here. And yep, take the spring on the top. So we're just going to go ahead and it's basically the same. So pull the other springs off, put new ones on, and then like I said, just make sure nothing is out of place. Yeah, so it makes it a little bit easier if you actually use a screwdriver to get these off. Um, so get this out of here, pulls those out. Um, you can put like a ceramic brake coating stuff on these slides here. Um, I, I, I do, I do, don't, I, you know, I, I just didn't have any this time. Uh, usually the kits come with it, so you can put some stuff on there so that it doesn't make any noise, but they usually slide on there pretty easily by themselves. Um, so, um, I think this is about the gist of it because it's the video is about the same as what we did. Um, so, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions or anything like that, just give me a like, give me a subscribe, um, and I can answer any questions you have or anything like that. So, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks are good. Be a fixer, fixer, fixer. Be a fixer, fixer.